Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is your reading, what's your love life? It's a single reading. Let's see Aquarius, what do we have for you? We have adventures. For some of you, you are going to travel to move to meet this person. It's going to be a bright new adventure in your life. This is cat, it's also talking about you feeling really exciting, feeling good, a lot of communication between you two. Inner knowing, it's about your intuition. For some of you, you already know this person, you're not with this person at this time. But you, you know that this person has feeling for you. But so you need to focus. Taking a risk for a new adventure, a quality of the four cards, is taking a leap of faith. It's a brand new beginning for you, a new cycle in your life. What you don't see coming, okay? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This person is very mature. For some of you, this person has already children. He's thinking about his family first. It's the most important thing in his life. So a lot of maturity and stability. We are the King of Pentacles. In your past first. In your past Aquarius, with the two of wands, it's telling me that you've been very patient, you've been making plans. For the future, it's you dreaming about your future with the two of wands. With the queen of swords, it's like you're very defensive. It's your energy. Libra Gemini, I energy. The queen of swords, she's very defensive because of her past. She is seeking your truth, very honest. She's a good speaker. In your past, I can see a connection with someone very romantic. Can be talking about Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. See more what's going on in your past. You've been making plans with this person in your past values. For some of you, you've been traveling with this person. Why is it your friends? Why is it your friends? Mm, okay. With the seven of swords, your person in your past was lying, cheating, stealing, treasure, betrayal. It's not a good energy, the seven of swords. This person was doing things behind your back. And it's why you are so defensive with the Queen of Swords. It's the Queen of Swords for Aquarius. Okay, yeah, it's like you're very strong. Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands. It's your very strong. Not giving up. Fighting, defending yourself. Knight of Cups. This is the Knight of Cups in your past. Oops. 
with the five of cups it's feeling lots of emotion lots of sadness that's this past connection of wands, why is it two of wands? Aquarius, a lot of stress. Queen of Swords, it's the Queen of Swords. With the Mice card can be also thinking about a loss of money because of your past relationship. And see a contract, a marriage, for some of you you've been married with your ex-partner. Eight of Cups. What's the Eight of Cups? Secrets. A lot of secrets in this past connection, okay? But at this time, I can see a meeting. It's new. It's going to be a new adventure. With someone with a lot of maturity and maturity. Stability. He has a good job. He is connected with nature. He loves animals. Going on for you, current energy for Aquarius. You can see the sub card showing up the king of pentacles is coming for you. Okay, you are ready, Aquarius, to be in a connection with the queen of cups. You're someone very loving, caring, insisting she's pregnant. Okay, opportunity to get pregnant for you, some of you. And you have a big heart, you are helping other. Let's see, for some of you, it's a Leo also. But with a strength card, it's time for you to have courage about the situation, about this connection, Aquarius. The strength card is using your strength, then for you to be strong and fair. It's about compassion, your inner strength. How is the Leo coming for you? Get the Queen of Pentacles here. The king of Pentacles for Aquarius. Oops, too many cards. I'm sorry. Again, this stability and this connection with the Ace of Pentacles. Who is the king of Pentacles for Aquarius? of thoughts you're going to move with a new direction with this person the six of thoughts it's about traveling moving but you're not alone moving someone is going to help you can be talking about this person you are moving because you want a new beginning in your life and you want to have peace to feel good again. This is the Queen of Cups for Aqualius. This is the Queen of Cups. The 
drink out again. Having courage to be in this connection. The string out. Oops, oh, it's a Leo. Ten of Swords. Living and ending something in your life. Can be talking about you are going to end uh, your job, leaving your job, leaving your career, leaving your family to be with this new person. It's a positive ending with a strong guard you need to have courage to end something with the ten of swords yes also talking about this ending wasn't good for you it was a lot of stress worries anxiety a lack of communication let's see With the King of Pentacles for Aquarius. It's your new partner. With the King of Pentacles for Aquarius. Time for you to take a risk with a clover. Like the fool. Like it's on your side, Aquarius. The Queen of Cups. It's the Queen of Cups. It's the Queen of Cups. Oops. A man is coming in your life. It's a strange card for Aquarius. The sun. This new connection is going to bring light, a new light in your life, happiness, joy. Near future. Let's see. New future for Aquarius. I can see you moving with this person, living with this new person. Let's see. Moon card, Pisces, Cancer, Energy. It's about intuition, but it's also talking about fertility. Yeah. Seven of Cups. Options. Page of Wands. Okay. The page of wands it's about the moment, is feeling anxiety about something new, choosing a new direction, a new way, but can be also talking about children, okay? Having op option about children, okay? Let's see more what's going on. What is the moon card for Aquarius? The moon is illusion, dream, secret. Let's see, what is the moon? What is the moon for Aquarius? Okay. It's so you protecting something, holding on something, Aquarius. 
with the four of pentacles this is seven of cups where is the seven of cups Serious stability, commitment, an offer coming for you. It's a new future. You can see this connection is going to grow. It's very stable. It's a page of wands. Where's a page of wands? Okay. Making a difficult choice to show the direction. It's like a crossword in your life in the near future. Okay. Let's see. Where is the moon card? Okay. Can see a baby with the moon and the star. Okay, just for some of you, a change is coming for you in the near future. Seven of Cups. Oops, the cross was. You have option, but this person is offering you stability, commitment. It's up for you to choose what you really want in your life, Aquarius. Let's see. It's a cross was like the two of swords. This is a page of wands. So page of wands is very exciting. For a new adventure. This is a page of wands. Okay. So three cards. Yeah, it's you growing, learning. Yeah, it's talking about family and stability. No last message. Oops. Message for Aquarius. Great fortune, God house and lover. Okay, good fortune is abundance. It's coming in your life, Aquarius. It's the best card in this deck. We have also God house. It's about something legal, a contract, something official. But I really feel like it's about a marriage, a commitment, because we have the lover, something official about love. Connection, soul merit. Okay. Aquarius, this is your reading. Thank you so much for watching and being here. Take care. Bye.